Greetings, we are Real Juicy News and today we bring you a video review on Big Linux OS. As it caught our attention when we read the description at distrowatch.com and then read other people's comments slash reviews, their pros and cons on this operating system. 67 commenters who loved it and no moans or groans or winching about it. So it was all pretty positive so we thought it must be good. We then clicked on a link to the website provided, downloaded the big Linux OS, ISO wrote it to a USB stick, then ran a live session to try and test it and see if it was as good as boasted or claimed. We looked it over and found a couple of the software we needed as we use them frequently to create our videos, edit them, etc weren't shown, weren't available, but inserted their names into the search option and found them and then installed them, tested them by running them and all was good. We'd previously set our top and bottom taskbars to automatically hide and they worked first time around, but then we decided, well, we need to because we came across bleach bit personal and bleach bit administrator that's where you have, a, have to have the root password to authenticate it to use it and we ran both the second one the administrator took so long took about 10 or 20 minutes on normal um, preview and clean but finally it finished and it deleted or made all the junk files etc disappear we thought well that's good that worked well, even though it took a hell of a long time. And then we looked at our screen and noticed that our top taskbar and our top, uh, our bottom one had disappeared along with it. So I thought, oh, what the hell? So we couldn't use the taskbar to do other things. So we had to turn the machine off and try again. So we we're trying to set all back to how we liked it again repeating the process uh, and then we ended up with this potential health checklist or something that popped up and then it wouldn't go away no matter what we did it just wouldn't go away so we had to like shut down the machine again and try again and we kept getting plagued by these problems but eventually things seemed to go a little bit better and we tried to use Brave, the web browser that's provided on its operating system, and we set up set it up with add-ons, etc. Then we went to Distro Watch to be able to show you the reviews of the particular operating system, Big Linux OX, and it wouldn't take us there. And it was just a pain in the backside, so we decided, well, stuff that. It's useless. We already had, did a review on it, checked out doc, uh, information on it and it says oh it's a dangerous browser full of malware all this sort of stuff so we've always avoided it even though it claims to be really secure and all that sort of stuff so we went to uh, Big Store which is basically Big Linux OS's package installer and, uh, package manager a bit like flat pack etc and found the latest Firefox, which is 120.01 version apparently, put the add-ons on there to block out our history, wipe out history, uh, our surf history, etc., to protect it as good as we know how to, and found that it, everything made that particular browser search at a crawl. It took forever, so we got sick of that. So we like looked at the add-ons that we had, looking at a couple of history ones because we weren't too sure which ones actually worked, uh, like auto history delete and all that sort of stuff. And then we realized, well, this one works, this one doesn't, so we removed that one. And it freed it up and Firefox ran really, really well. And eventually, uh, we got to the stage where we could present you this video, finally, on Big Linux OS. So we're happy with Firefox rather than 
the brave browser as we stated prior problem after problem plagued us but we persevered and as a result finally here is this our video on big linux os so let's have a look at big linux os then eh okay we'll have a look at it here's our top taskbar disappeared but here's our bottom one that wouldn't go on auto high but still trying to work out why it wouldn't do that we end up with this picture the wallpaper papers are great etc but it's mainly animal based zany animals abstract art and other zany images but they're all quite colorful quite good and this is what we end up with because we couldn't figure out how to get back there and change it okay that's why we say it's has a high difficult learning curve no good for newbies to linux maybe intermediate users will find problems with it as we did so let's have a look at this operating system basically you've got the taskbar and here's all the things you're doing down the bottom indicated down the bottom so basically you've got your recent applications recent files that you've used you've looked at card games k patients tactic and strategy k mines lutris and probably a steam online game option graphics you've got green view scan page internet brave which we don't like so we install firefox had more satisfaction with that a torrent downloader qubit torrent remote desktop rust disk multimedia avid dmux a video editor gcu guvc view a webcam and we also installed uh, voco screen ng but we find this one's better reduce microphone noise so hopefully that is better simple screen recorder to make this video video converter this is the q can make probably go from mp4 to mp3 etc vlc media player office libre office and so forth we don't really like libre office as we mentioned in a prior video we did a, a scam of clam tk so either a positive uh, or a false positive that it detected puas or potentially unwanted applications and some malware so that was a threat so we don't really like it that's why we used uh, avmx linux because it didn't have that on there we had no problems no detection of anything through clam tk using that one but now it's gone to the dogs we don't like it settings add remove software big store it's basically your software install package like apt flat package etc your control center and your software updater system add remove software dolphin which is your basic documents video etc folder where you store your videos that you create all this stuff install the system because this is on a uh, usb and we're just trialing it console key system guard probably we're not too sure what that is k system guard menu editor utilities uh, calculator emoji alarm kde connect etc etc uh, a speech or stop selected text web apps they're all listed there you have instagram facebook there's all the connections to it so you have to go type it in uh, web apps google you've got youtube so you just push on that and take it right to youtube uh, really really good had a lot easier got a translator of some sort probably a google one power session you can lock it you can log out save the session switch you use to restart or shut down and there's a search option there so it's a pretty good system but as we said it has a high difficult learning curve so we don't recommend it for newbies uh, we're not really we like animals but we're not really animal wallpaper fans so we try to find something different like cars or motorbikes or something like that uh, we just with it uh, the problem was we couldn't find that particular desktop search center or whatever it was uh, to put a completely non-animal wallpaper on as a background uh, yeah we it took us about an hour to find it one time we finally found it 
and we didn't like any of the pictures but we just chose one which was probably a samurai or something like that so yeah here's your basics like this wasn't on there originally we went into the settings and put this icon on there and these are already here you can make them smaller your icon smaller very small or medium we don't like them too big we think they look better smaller okay. just looks better actually smaller still okay so what else we have here anything else so yeah we, if we were to rate this out of 10 we'd probably give it a 6 maybe a 7 just to be nice it's a very difficult learning curve as we stated before so we don't know why we have these problems we had these problems we played by those problems but we whittled it down to put it down to perhaps it was originally created for a plasma tv monitor uh, again big linux os has a huge and very difficult learning curve so we don't recommend it to completely newbies to complete newbies to linux or beginners and intermediate users might find or run into the same problems that we did again on a rating system of 10 we'd give it a 6 out of 10. if you like this video review about big linux os please subscribe to us give us a like add your comments below and then share this video with others because they may come across it uh, install it to a usb and try to run it and say what the hell what, this doesn't work and what, what the hell's wrong with this thing why did that disappear you know but if you persevere it may prove to be as the comments at distro have stated here's a description here it's a uh, a Brazilian Linux distribution localized into Brazilian Portuguese with support for English. It was originally based on Kubuntu, but starting from 2017, the distribution was reborn based on Deepin. Oh yes. It then offered two desktop environments, Cinnamon and Deepin. In 2021, the distribution switched bases and desktop environments again, migrating to Manjaro Linux running KDE Plasma. Yes, so that's what it would be. That's why we probably got played with problems because we only have an LG, not a Plasma. Uh, LG screen because the other one decided to blow up a bigger one a 40 inch one so yeah that's probably what it is because it's really for plasma monitors right okay and here's the comments it's been given a rating of 9.6 from 67 reviewers and if you can read it you'll see that there's no moans and groans it's in Spanish or uh, Portuguese, Brazilian, and English, but they were all saying how great it is. We haven't found anyone on here that said, Well, I, I was plagued with this problem and that problem. It's the pros, everything just works, no weird update problems or crashes really beautiful animations and packed with nice wallpapers the workflow is running smooth big linux comes out of the box with the right programs for this person who only needed a computer for daily tasks cons like they said up in upper ways the only problem he had is some minimal video tearing and it is so minimal that it doesn't take anything away from the gaming experience 10 out of 10 is basically for the overall experience of the os because he's able to game through it okay so it's all positive so that's probably what the problem is we aren't using it on a plasma uh, monitor really good reviews for it from users so it's a really good portuguese brazilian version which you can switch to english if you don't speak the language 
There you go. It only offers KD Players Mate a desktop environment, although you can choose from six different layouts. They could at least offer one more desktop environment for users who don't like Plasma. So that is the problem that we had with it while we were playing with so many problems. I'm pretty sure. Okay, here's the negative here by the looks of it. They created their own version of Root Actions, which is truly worthless, which one must replace through Pamak cause trying to add it through Dolphin. Dolphin asked for the root password, which the devs either created themselves and are not, or that's the developers, created themselves and are not sharing or never added one. The fact that when one calls this to the attention that they never tell the user the root password tells this person or told this person that they not only blocked the user from creating a root password but didn't set one for themselves. Okay, so that's no good. The biggest pros for big Linux are ease of installation, the layouts option, the PAMA GUI package manager, the additional curated list of programs and the nature of it being a rolling release. The one negative that this person had is Manjaro self-induced delay on some packages which might cause a problem if you will see these packages from the AUR whereby dependencies are not delayed creating the potential for a break in the operating system. And he was exploring the idea of switching to the testing branch repositories to avoid that two week testing delay that Manjaro does in order to prevent potential breaks due to mismatch problems with dependencies in the AUR. Okay, looks like the guy may have written the same, uh, clicked on the comment twice. See if there's any more pros and cons. You can go to uh, distrowatch.com, look up big Linux OS to have a look at these comments by other users. So, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel, give us a like, add your comments below, we'll get back to you on those as soon as we can, and then go share this video with all your family, friends and neighbours and others. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, our latest video upload.